Coming up in this video... <sighs> Good news, they have an anti-go pack. Well, I'm glad you're here, because they're boarding. Where's your PS5? What? Excuse me, how can I help you? My son's PlayStation, it's missing. Is it checked luggage? No. We were sitting over there, I went to go get some food, I came back and someone took it. So you're saying another passenger stole it? Yeah, and I think I know who it is. Three, two, one. What are you doing wasting time on games? You should be doing your homework. You know what? You're right. This is a waste of time. Finally, you admit it. Video games are a waste of time. No. Video games are sick. You got me this Xbox 360 when I was like nine. Fine. If you want to get the new one, you can buy it with your lawn mowing money. I wish. I don't have enough money for that. Well, your dad and I will loan it to you, but you have to pay it back before Christmas. That's great! Except one thing. Alright, now what is it? I want to get a PlayStation 5 instead. That's what all the cool kids are getting now. Well, by all means, we wouldn't want you to have something that's not cool. Let's go get one right now! Fine, let's do it now before Dad gets home from work. Perfect! I'll drive! <laughs> Not until you get your driver's license. <laughs> Hi, we want to get a PS5? Yeah, do you have the Call of Duty bundle? No, we don't have anything PS5. What? Are you sold out or something? Yeah, we haven't had any in stock for months. <sighs> I knew this would happen. Do you have them at any other stores? Hmm, let me check. Oh, we actually do, but they're not very close to here. What's the nearest one? Uh, don't worry, honey. I'll drive. Um, we've got two in our Bangor store. Oh, where's that? Uh, probably the other side of town. Bangor? As in Bangor, Maine? Maine? That's like 2,000 miles from Denver. Can't they just ship it to us? PS5s? I'm sorry. It's in-store only. Sorry, honey. Well, do you have them at any other stores that are closer? The Tucson store has three. Well, I suppose they won't ship them either. Mom, we can go pick it up. Tucson's close. Well, you can put a deposit on it now, and they'll hold it till you get there. But that's still a plane ride. But it's short, and I've been a good kid. Shall we put that one aside for you? Well, I do have a lot of airline points. Yes, we want you to hold it. I'd be happy to. Billy wants a PS5. But there aren't any in town. Looks like he's going to have to take a trip. We're flying for a PS5. But it's worth it. I'll be like the coolest kid in school. Mom, why do we have to change flights in Phoenix? 
because there are no non-stops to Tucson. <sighs> Fine. I just don't want to wait for my PS5 any longer. Excuse me, reserved a PS5? I don't think they have one. Seriously, we came all this way? <laughs> for this. Billy finally got his PS5. He should be playing it before bedtime. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome aboard. Once you have located your seat, we ask you that you please step out of the aisle. You know the passengers behind you can pass here. This will expedite our boarding process. You know you could have checked that as luggage. I'm not doing that. Do you know how damaged it would get? Excuse me, young man. You're going to have to put that under the seat in front of you. Okay. It won't fit. Well, in that case, you're going to have to put it in the overhead compartment. I don't want to do that. Someone might take it. Okay, well, give it to me and I'll put it in a secure one. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll do it. Oh, man. They're so unreasonable. Before they get home to Denver, Billy and his mom have to wait in Phoenix to change planes. got here. We need to be first in line. Well, all of the seats get into Denver at the same time. It's not every day we get to celebrate our grandson's 10th birthday. Are you sure he's going to like what you got for him? Well, of course he will. All little boys love sweaters. When he's in Denver, they're going to come in real handy. Well, when I was his age, all I could think about was toy pickup trucks and Legos. You know, these days, all they care about are video games and smartphones. Well, we already got him a new e-phone for Christmas, so I guess we got that taken care of. Well, all I know is he wants one of those PS5 thingies. Well, we should get him one. Do they sell them here at the gift shop at the airport? Oh no, they're sold out everywhere. I've tried calling all over town. Oh, it must be because of that chip shortage I heard about on the news. That's why you can't buy a Ford or Chevy pickup right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I think my brain just committed suicide. He doesn't want a pickup truck. He wants a PlayStation 5. Oh, you mean like one of those? What? Mom, I can't wait to play this PS5. Do you think they have a TV in the airport I could hook it up to? Excuse me, where'd you get this PS5? I got it from Big Mart, right here in Tucson. like three times. They said they didn't have any. Yeah, they were holding one for us. We came down here just for that. Well, 
It's my grandson's birthday, and it's the number one thing he wants in the world. Will you sell it to me? Nope. Not for sale. What we're trying to say is we flew here from Denver just to buy this. Well, I'll pay you double, and then you can go back there and get another one. Double? Honey, they don't have any more. Sorry, no deal. Okay, fine. You win. I'll pay double plus the cost of your airline tickets. Sorry, no deal. Why don't you just buy him pajamas or a sweater or something? Pfft, I already did. So, how did it go? They're completely unreasonable. They wouldn't sell it to me. Maybe they want it as bad as you do. Whose side are you on here? Well, I'm on your side, honey, of course. Maybe we could get him a gift certificate so he could buy one on his next birthday. Next birthday? Obviously, you don't know what it's like to be a 10-year-old boy. Rumor is I used to be one of those about 200 years ago before electricity. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I think my brain just committed suicide. I, I can feel it bleeding. Oh my God. This is no time for humor. Why don't you make yourself useful and go get me a double cappuccino? Right away, dear. Whiskin! I want to get some chicken nuggets. Can I have some money? Son, sit down. I'll go get it for you. Okay, uh, ten piece. Okay. I can't wait to get my driver's license. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to get one of these. It's a good thing you're here. We're boarding. Let's go. You go ahead. I'll catch up. It's looking like Karen's grandson is going to get a PS5 after all. News. They have it in a to-go pack. Well, I'm glad you're here, because they're boarding. Where's your PS5? What? Excuse me. How can I help you? My son's PlayStation. It's missing. PlayStation? We don't have those here. No, we flew to Tucson to get it. We're changing planes here in Phoenix. We're going home to Denver, and now it's gone. Gone? Is it checked luggage? No. We were sitting over there. I went to go get some food. I came back and someone took it. So you're saying another passenger stole it? Yeah, and I think I know who it is. Older couple, this lady with orange hair, and I think she's on the plane. All right. I'm going to go on board and check into this for you. You because there will be a 15 year old boy who will be devastated if you can't find it. Wait right here, I'll be back. Excuse me, who does this belong to? Oh, that's mine. Ma'am, you're going to need to come with me. Is this it? Uh, yes. What's the nature of this? She took my PS5. No, I didn't. Don't listen to him. No, like I told you, we flew all the way down here to get it. And she tried to buy it off us. They have no proof. That PlayStation is mine. No, it's not. Do you know how many lawns I mowed to get that thing? 
You all wait here. I have to turn this over to security. Fine, I'll hold on to the PlayStation while you do. No! What's going on, Karen? They announced on the plane that the flight is being delayed. These people here are trying to steal my PlayStation. What's this about you both claiming this PS5? We're not claiming it. It's mine. Don't listen to him. Kids will say anything to get their way. Ma'am, what do you have to say about this? It's ours. We bought it today in Tucson and we're flying back to Denver with it. Yeah. Well, this should be easy enough to solve. Exactly. Now give it to me and I'll be on my way. Surely one of you has the receipt for this, so whoever has it gets the PS5. Mom, get it out of your purse and we can get it back. Good idea. Oh, my receipt's on the plane. I'll go get it. That's fine. We'll be right here. Um, I'll need to take that PlayStation with me. This PlayStation isn't going anywhere, and I'm starting to have my doubts about you. I can't find it. It's not in here. See? I told you it was mine. Well, go get your receipt and we'll handle this. But Billy, I don't think they gave me one. Well, did you check in the box? That's a good idea. It's, it, it's white with black printing on it and it's about this big. Yeah, I know what a receipt looks like. <laughs> here it is. Great, our name should be on it. There's no name on this, just last four digits of a credit card. Mom! Show oh. me your card! Here's the card we used. That's a match. Here's your PS5. Thank you, mister. Just doing my duty. Can we board now? Wait, I have to take care of us. Certain passenger first. Do you think he's talking about the lady who tried to take the PS5? I can't imagine who else it would be. Where are you taking me? We have a special place for you. Uh, help me! What are you doing? I'll see you in Denver. <laughs>